This period in Japanese history is really well documented from both the Japanese and Chinese sources, like extensively covered, really detailed. Like we know the name, we know all of the names of the actual people who were involved in. We know the names of the actual commanders. Like we know that was primary, like the defense was primary of uh, Tsushima was primarily led by members of the Soul Clan. Like all of that is known, but none of that is really in the game. And I just can't figure out why. It's like, so then if you're going to have like sort of, there's nothing wrong with having a generic like hack and slash samurai game. And in fact, interestingly enough, the hack and slash genre itself is, its history is very closely linked to sort of like samurai games. In fact, the very, arguably the very first hack and slash game is a game called Samurai. And so like there is there is a close link between these two things and I don't want to sort of say that like it's inappropriate to have, you know, a hack and like I loved you know when I first got my <clears throat> PlayStation 2, I loved playing Onimusha. I love that game so much. But and interestingly enough, Onimusha is sort of an example of what I find so so problematic because the thing is like when you look at a lot of Japanese games that are set in particular historical periods, they're often extremely campy. Like the whole question of historical accuracy is one that doesn't even get asked. So why is it that a game like Ghost of Tsushima has this like pretense towards being historically accurate, but then doesn't actually pay off?